how to succeed in a job interview in Norway. Keep watching, then you will get some real good advices and at the end of this video you will get the real inside tip to really get into job interview number two. Okay guys, are you ready? Hi everyone! Uh, just uh, before we start, if you want more hilarious fun from Norway, you know what to do. Push the bell, subscribe or subscribe and push the bell and uh, tons of fun coming your way. Hooray! Hooray! But okay, so th today we're going to talk about a job interview situation in Norway, as you can see here. Oh, you made a professional! Yes! This is a Norwegian uh, workplace. This video is about uh, job interview number one. You have applied for a work, some work in Norway and you have been called to your first job interview. And you're nervous because you don't of know Norwegian. You are, yeah, of course, and you're not sure do they speak English, do they speak Norwegian, what are the rules, how, how to do it. So, and I mean, it's not easy to uh, be called for a job interview in Norway. So if you are in this situation, you are really, really lucky. And, uh, but Norway isn't the most easiest place to uh, succeed in your first job interview, that first meeting with your potential new employee. So you have to meet uh, the participants. This, Hello. Uh, hi, this is Berit. She is HR manager. Cute. Cute, absolutely. This is Lars. No he is leader of technical department. And then we have brought Uda. She is a project assistant. Oh, she's a wild card. Absolutely. And you can, uh, you will probably always meet at least two person, sometimes three. And there's a reason for uh, this group and it's not easy for you to detect why are there so many and all that stuff. I, I, will, uh, I will explain for you. Let's say that this is you, it's a hipster guy applying for work uh, in Norway. He's maybe from the States or maybe from... Uh, oh, nice spare. Yeah, you can see it. He's, he's a hipster. Oh, he's cool. He is cool. Absolutely cool. And he has, as many of you guys would probably do, he has dressed up. You can see he has, uh, it's really nice clothes, suits, kind of. Really, really nice. He wants to make a good impression. Okay. The first thing he... he What's his name? Uh, it could be, uh, I don't know. Uh, Rob. Okay, it could be Rob, okay? And Rob dressed up, uh, ready for his first interview, ready to make an impression, knocks on the door and walks in. And actually, by Rob just walking in this room and these people seeing him and the, dre and the, the way he has, he's dressed makes everyone think here that, okay, he is not our guy. So just by dressing too formal, dressed up in a suit or something, for most Norwegian works, it doesn't work. So actually if you Why? dress... No, because we are informal, we are casual, we really don't dress up too much. So if you dress like Rob here, then all the participants in the job uh, interview will think, no, Rob, he won't fit uh, our workplace. They will be like this. Oh, what do we think about him? Yeah, no, but and she will answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was too formal. Yeah, yeah. So Rob, he has to dress neutral, casual, informal, and and be just like an ordinary guy. Okay. Nice, nice suit. Yeah, it, it casual clothes. What blend kind of clothes? in? No, he has to blend in. You have to be fresh and clean and all that, but you cannot wear a suit. Uh, okay, and then <clears throat> Robin, uh, Rob in his casual clothes enter and he says hello to Lars. Hello, Lars, and he says hello to Berit. Hello, Berit, and he says hello to Uda, and then he sits down and they start the interview. Okay. <coughs> Should they do the handshake? 
Yeah, absolutely, and they will greet you. So you always do a handshake, you never hug or anything. It's a formal handshake. You guys sit down. And then maybe Rob, he there are three person and he has been listening to okay, he's he she is leader of HR, he is leader of technical department, and she's maybe he thinks only a project assistant. And he, and Rob is applying for some technical things. So then maybe you guys or Rob start talking and looking at Ro at the Lash because you are applying a work that is relevant for him. Well, then you have also made a huge mistake. Huh? Yes, because if you are not recognizing all of the people in the room, and if you are not looking at them in their eyes, really signaling, I see you and I see you and I see you. If you don't do that, if they get the feeling you are only looking at Lars because you are actually yeah, applying he, for he's work. He's the most important. Well, in Norway he isn't. And guys, before we continue, how is a typical job seeking interview in your country? I mean, that would be awesome for us to know. Just post us your story, you know guys, we love it. Then they start talking and, and uh, 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 Rob here, he, he has eye, most eye contact with Lars. If that happens, then you have actually, they will all three of them think you don't fit in here. Will they say it? No, they won't say it to your face. They will sit like this actually. Yeah, of course, they are polite. They will continue. It's, it's really, 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 this is really a big issue because each of these participants are really important. Okay, so Rob walks out full of self-esteem. He had a good chat with the most important person. At a cafe, he places his phone at the table, thinking it will only be minutes before they call him, offering him the job. And he waits. Yeah, and the call won't come. Why? Because he didn't speak to that, uh, what was her name again? It's Berit that is the boss in this day, because she has the last call. And Uda is here because she will work with, if Rob gets the work, she, Rob will work most with Uda. And if Rob hasn't talked to Uda and has ignored Uda, well, then Uda doesn't no, want to and work then with him. then and then you're out. You will not. You will almost not hear anything again from them. Okay, and then we are in the interview, and what happens? Well, I think Rob, let's say he's from the states, and then he thinks, oh, I have to make a good impression. I have to brag a little bit of my achievements. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you have to, you, you think, oh, I have to be outstanding, they have to notice me. And you have to. Yeah, and, and uh, Rob, he goes, okay, I was champion in this and this, and you know, no, I'm the best in my class from the school, I'm the best, I did that, no one does that as good as me. If you start bragging in this job interview, then again, you're out. They won't. But, be but will you notice it? No, will you notice no, no, it? yeah. Well, maybe you will notice it because they start to look other places, or they will start look at each other. So that's a warning. A warning. If their eyes suddenly goes up there or down there or something, while you are talking how good you are and so on, then then that situation means that you have lost out. This is a really bad situation. Because in Norway you cannot brag. And listen, listen carefully. You are in the number one job interview or in the first job interview because you uh, sent mail them a CV. And from the Norwegian point of view, then we know your skills and that's the reason you are in this interview. 
but we don't want to hear anything more about it because we have read through your CV. So many codecs. A very much codecs. And how, what what are those codecs codex in your country? The no no the no go zones. I, th I think it's important, guys, that you share it with us, actually. Subscribe and push the, the bell. bell. Yeah, yeah. So what happens to Rob? He sits and feels like he, he has a Yeah, dinner. he bragged and all that. something? And, but he will not hear the call again. The, really? If he bragged, then he's really, really out. So the clue here is to have done research, you know which company you are applying for, you know what they do, you know their newest cases, you have researched their social media accounts, and you know who their competitors are. So instead of bragging about yourself, you should brag about the company and then you shall ask questions. Yeah, what kind of skills are you looking for? How is your teamwork? What, what do you do? You have to be interested and curious about them. Uh, but of course, there are some really in good inside tips here. Cheats. Yeah, no cheats, but be ready for it. First of all, uh, you need that conversation started to get to get everyone feeling well. So I would recommend you to go to their social media account. Look for do they have any? Does it seems like they have uh, athletic groups like uh, training or running, jogging around? You will see if they have picture of it. Anything. N write them down and in that job interview here ask about it ask about how is uh, the work culture outside work do we hang together do I we love have yeah do we have food. some uh, training or fitness thing together do we jog or whatever and and like yeah I saw some pictures and then they will think oh rob is interested in uh, our work in our culture so and you should lie and say you're interested in ping pong but lying my god uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a white lie, and uh, hopefully you are interested in jogging or whatever they do. And then talk about that, ask about that, because that's really important. Because in Norway, we are really occupied with life-work balance here. You cannot come here and say, okay, I'm, I'm new, I'm willing to uh, work for like 12 hours a day. Because they will be like, no, in Norway you don't work 12 hours a day. 12 hours? No, yeah. We work 30 hours a week. Yeah, 37 hours. Yeah, so, so you, you can't do that. Be more interested in what happens outside work. What do we do? Do we have parties? Do we do something together? Now we are soon wrapping up. And here are some really, really inside tips. First of all, the main goal in Norway with job interview number one. It's not uh, how much will I earn, how much will I work, and that's... all of that. It's not. This is a meeting about chemistry. And that's the most important issue in this first, your first job interview in Norway. Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. That's why this group is here. Now they want to know, Rob, if you can fit into the group and into the main job culture in this yeah, like, uh, company. Like having lunch together. Absolutely. Or... What are your interests? What kind of music do you like? Blah, 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 blah. This stuff, job interview number one is not about how much will I earn. It's about chemistry. And this is the best tip I can give you. If you make everyone laugh, both Uda Berit and Lars, if you make them smile and laugh, I can almost guarantee you that you will get the call for job interview number two. And in that second job interview, of course you can talk about uh, payment and uh, everything and work days and so on. But number one is chemistry. Are you with us? You have to make jokes about yourself or you can almost make a joke about you or, or your culture. That's I, I, I can pretend, pretend to be Rob. Oh, on my way here, I actually... Yeah, 
uh, I was going here to Oslo, but I jumped on the train to Bode, so actually I've been uh, two nights in Bode before I found the right train. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's and, and then the whole group is laughing. And if you have that feeling in the end of your first job interview, number one job interview in Norway, then I can almost guarantee you that uh, they will call you. Okay, so Rob, leave the interview, go to the cafe, sit down. What happens? If he made them laugh, if he talked about uh, life outside work, made everyone comfortable, they will call him back and then he will be able to go into interview number two. Okay, Rob, he made it to uh, number two interview. But I think we guys have a wrap up for the first interview. And I, I'm really, do you have any more questions uh, when it comes to applying for work in Norway, work culture, wo uh, work life balance, -y, all those questions? Don't hesitate. You know what to do. Subscribe, push the bell, and uh, we will read it and we will give you all the answers we can give you. If you uh, like what you see, if you want to support us, uh, we have this cool cup. And uh, yeah, lots of other stuff. Yeah, lots of other stuff. T shirts and all that stuff. Yeah, time for goodbye. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I will wrap it up. I love you guys. Yeah, yeah, uh, I love you. Love you. See you for next time. Bye bye. <laughs>